Hi everyone, this is Mayube and welcome to my channel. So in honor of hitting 300 subscribers, I decided to share some of my tips and what I've learned as a small content creator on YouTube. And to preface this, I'm not a YouTube expert. I just wanted to help out fellow YouTubers or those who have plans on making their first YouTube channel. Let's get started. My first tip would be when filming your first YouTube video, use what you currently have. If you have a smartphone, a camera, tablet, or laptop, those will work. Okay, so when I first started out, I used my dad's Canon camera. Nowadays, I've been using my iPhone. So here are some tips for those who use your smartphone for filming videos on YouTube. The first thing I would recommend doing is get to know all the functions and features that your phone is capable of doing. When filming, film horizontally like this instead of filming vertically like this. I guess the only time you would film vertically like this is if you are filming a YouTube short, TikTok, or Instagram Reel. The next tip is check your video resolution on your phone's general setting. Choose either 1080p or 4K, and this just is based on your preference. So the next tip is try using manual settings versus automatic settings when you're filming your footage. So if you change to manual settings, it forces you to film footage how you want it to look. Like, make it more customized how you film you, your videos, if that makes sense. If you have an Apple Watch, you can attach your watch onto your iPhone and make it into a vlog camera by using its camera app. It's really cool. Get a flash drive for your smartphone. It is so worth it. Say hello to SanDisk and goodbye to iCloud. So this device is great for storing photos and videos. I highly recommend getting it. And then my last tip for using your smartphone for YouTube videos would be always keep up to date and learn as much as you can about your phone's filming capabilities or camera's features. So tip number two is don't wait to start recording videos, start now. Like, what are you waiting for? There's no set rule when to upload videos on YouTube. It really doesn't matter. Film now. Film as many videos on what interests you the most. It can be manga, anime, video gaming. Go nuts. Research your interests or niche on the platform. So consider having an upload schedule starting out. Consistently uploading videos will help you. Okay, so lastly is editing. So use what came with your laptop, like iMovie. I'm not sure what the equivalent would be for like a PC. Um, so the next thing I would suggest is research the free editing software that are out there. One that I've seen some people use is CapCut. So that one's a good one to try. There's also a like video leap, I think it's what it's called. It has like a little red box on it. So that's one that you should consider looking into. But yeah, um, there are a lot of other popular editing software. They're pop the popular ones that people tend to use are Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro, and DaVinci Resolve, and so on. Work on thumbnails and your titles of your videos first. They're important because they catch the attention of your audience. Okay, so it will take some time and practice to improve your titles and thumbnails, but yeah, um, consider watching tutorials on YouTube to get you started. Some apps and websites I know you should consider checking out are Canva, that one's a free app to uh, create thumbnails. Um, Procreate, that's another one you should check out. That one you have to pay uh, to use. Um, Sketchbook, that one's free. It is somewhat similar to Procreate, so that I recommend uh, checking out. And then Photoshop, I see a lot of people tend to use this one. And yeah, that one I think you have to pay a membership for as well. Tip number four is keep up to date on with YouTube and the trends on the platform. So YouTube is constantly changing. Consider doing YouTube shorts, live streaming, and podcasting. Uh, uh, look at your channel analytics and get to know the features on YouTube Studio. 
then research and learn as much as you can. Okay, so the last um, tip would be my advice for YouTubers. So the first one would be, I always said this throughout the video, um, always find the time and research and learn new things on the platform. The next tip would be, be patient. Don't get easily discouraged if not a lot of people are watching your videos. Focus on your own YouTube journey, not others. The next tip would be, don't compare yourself to others. Focus on your own journey and don't let others channel, don't let other channels journeys bother you. The next one would be, it's your channel, enjoy what you do. Enjoy what you're creating. So the next thing that stu stood out to me is this advice that I've learned as a content creator is enjoy if you enjoyed watching yourself in your video there's a chance that someone else or a person or two will like your video too next is in the future on your youtube journey it's okay to switch to a different interest and then the next advice is kind of like a rule of thumb when you're filming and editing so if you film for two hours then your editing time should be longer than what you filmed or your editing time should be doubled like let's say you film for two hours and then you're editing for four the important thing to remember when you're editing in post-production is audio in your videos are really important so consider buying a lapel mic like this this little thing right here or a usb microphone like this to get you started so yeah um the next advice would be is plan your videos like if you have notes scripts outlines bullet points it will help you down the road and then the last tip or advice is what i recently learned and i'm currently working on is Implement storytelling. It will help you make your videos more interesting and engaging to watch. So yeah, that concludes the video. Uh, do you agree with my tips and advice? I hope these were helpful for your own YouTube journey. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.